Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NC level 3 mathematics achievement standard uh, systems of simultaneous equations at an achieved level. So some of the skills that will be demonstrated in this video are forming equations from a given context, uh, solving systems of three linear equations uh, containing three variables, and uh, communicating solutions in context. In NC levels 1 and 2 you may have done uh, simultaneous equations involving uh, two variables and two equations and if the lines intersected then uh, there was a solution in nc level 3 graphs of three variable uh, equations uh, are the planes and uh, we'll be looking at uh, different possibilities so in this video we'll be looking at uh, a common intersection of the three planes uh, that leads to a unique solution so we'll be looking at a consistent uh, system with uh, independent equations uh, leading to one uh, unique solution. So in this uh, example, it says Ben ordered uh, 200 flowers for Mother's Day. Uh, he ordered mostly water lilies and uh, 20 fewer roses than lotuses. Uh, water lilies uh, cost $1.50 each, roses at uh, $5.75 each, and lotuses at $2.60 each. The total order came to uh, $589.50, and the question says uh, how many of each type of flower was ordered. So what we need to do is uh, form equation by defining the variables. So in this case, we will let X be the number of uh, water lilies uh, that Ben ordered, and Y be the number of roses ordered, and uh, Z be the number of lotuses that he ordered. And uh, the fifth sentence says that uh, Ben ordered 200 uh, flowers. So, so what this means is that um, the uh, sum of uh, the uh, three different uh, varieties of flowers that he ordered will be equal to uh, 200 uh, because that's what he ordered. So if I add uh, water lilies plus roses plus lotuses, that should be equal to 200. So in other words, X plus Y plus Z is equal to 200. And that's our first equation. And then uh, here we've got um, water lilies uh, uh, cost $1.50 each. So we've got uh, prices for each variety of uh, flowers that he ordered. And the total order came to uh, $589.50. So we'll put this information together. So $1.50 means 1 1.5 uh, times X. And then $5.75 uh, times the uh, number of roses he ordered, which is Y, plus uh, $2.60, which is 2.6 times Z, which is uh, the number of lotuses that he ordered. And the total cost was $589.50. So this is our second equation. And then uh, the third one, it says uh, he ordered uh, mostly water lilies and uh, 20 fewer roses than lotuses. So it says 20 fewer roses than lotuses. So in other words, uh, this means uh, uh, lotuses is uh, 20 more than um, roses. So I can put that information there as my third equation. So Z, which represents lotuses, is equal to uh, number of roses he ordered plus 20. Now, another way of putting this is uh, 20 fewer roses than lotuses. So if I just put Y, I could have also written y is equal to z minus 20 because it was 20 less than lotuses. Either way, you will um, get the same answer. So now I've got all three equations. What we will need to do is uh, uh, decide uh, which variable to eliminate first. So in this case, it's uh, easy to eliminate um, z because we are already given z is equal to y plus 20. So what I will do is I will substitute the third equation in uh, uh, first equation so I will replace z by y plus 20 and likewise I'll do the same thing in the second equation I will replace this z by y plus 20 because it says z is same as y plus 20 because they're equal so let's quickly do that so using the first equation so I've got x plus y plus z is now same as y plus 20 so I've got that is equal to 200 and then if I quickly simplify that x plus 2y right y plus y here is 2y plus 20 is equal to 200 and then what i'll do is i'll quickly take a constant which is 20 on the other side of the equal sign um, that simplifies to x plus 2y is equal to 180 and this is my fourth equation likewise i'll do the same thing i'll replace z by uh, y plus 20 in the second equation so let's quickly do that so 1.5x plus 5.75y plus 2.6 into y plus 20 so please whenever you're substituting please uh, put the information in brackets and then uh, what we will do is we'll try and remove the bracket by expanding and simplifying 
So 1.5x plus 5.75y plus 2.6 times y is 2.6y. And then 2.6 times 20 is uh, 52 is equal to $589.50. And if I quickly simplify this, so 5.75y plus 2.6y like terms gives you a total of 8.35y plus 52 so you would have guessed it now i will move this uh, 52 on the other side of the equal sign so i will subtract so i've got uh, 1.5x plus 8.35y is equal to 537 dollars and 50 cents so this is my fifth equation now if you look at equation number four and five i've got um, two variables here as well as two variables here so i've got two equations and uh, two variables I will try and look at these and see which one is easier to eliminate and then we can solve for the uh, um, third variable so in this case um, it's easier to eliminate um, x by the way because this one is 1x and this is 1.5x and the way I can do that is if I multiply the fourth equation equation number 4 by 1.5 I will have the same coefficient for x and then we can subtract and uh, eliminate uh, variable x and then solve for y so let's quickly do that so if i go 1.5 times the fourth equation and if i take away uh, equation 5 i will be able to eliminate x so 1.5 x so if i multiply that one by 1 1.5 i get 1 1.5 x plus 2 times 1.5 is 3 y is equal to 1.5 times 180 is 270 and then i'll bring the equation number 5 and here you can see the coefficients are same so I can subtract the two equations and I can solve for our variable y so let's quickly uh, do that so 1.5 minus 1.5 will cancel out and then I have got 3y take away 8.35y so that gives me negative 5.35y please be careful with this negative sign here and likewise 270 take away 537.5 gives you negative 267.5 and you would have guessed it i will now divide by negative 5.35 on both sides to uh, get the value for y and that gives you y is equal to 50. Uh, once i've got the um, value for y then i can backtrack and uh, substitute and get the um, other values for the other nodes uh, so in this case i will substitute y in equation number three to find the value for uh, z and it says z is equal to y plus 20 so um, z is equal to 50 plus 20 which is equal to uh, 70. Uh, likewise i'll do uh, y is equal to uh, 50 and z is equal to 70 in the first equation plus y plus z is equal to 200 to find the value for x and in this case x plus 50 plus 70 gives you 120 is equal to um, 200 then i'll quickly take 120 on the other side that leaves you with x is equal to 80 so um, x is 80 y is equal to 50 and z is equal to uh, uh, 70 so uh, this one has got one unique solution and uh, what that means is the uh, uh, system is consistent uh, with independent equations so what we will uh, need to do next is uh, answer the uh, question in uh, context you must answer the question in context uh, denoting what each of these uh, numbers represent so um, Ben ordered 80 water lilies uh, 50 roses and 70 uh, lotuses uh, for Mother's Day and um, geometrically what this means is that the three planes will have a uh, common intersection what i would suggest is if you could uh, pause the video and uh, solve this uh, yourself and see if your answer matches with this uh, to achieve you will need to uh, demonstrate to, uh, two uh, different skills uh, what you will need to do is form equations and solve um, systems of equations uh, involving uh, three equations uh, and three variables and then you must interpret the answer in uh, context Hope this helps in the next video we'll be looking at uh, another example at an achieve level and then later we will be looking at uh, the requirements for merit and excellence so what i'll do is i'll quickly show you how the um, uh, planes intersect uh, in this uh, case uh, giving a, um, a unique solution uh, this is not a requirement for uh, achieve but um, 
hopefully you can see um, the way the planes are arranged uh, geometrically so, right so the first equation was x plus y plus um, z is, is equal to uh, 200 so that's the first equation the second one was uh, 1.5 x plus uh, five dollars and 75 cents y uh, plus uh, 2.6 z is equal to $589.50 so, so third equation was z is equal to y plus 20 so I'll quickly rearrange uh, we had 0x because there was no um, variable x I take where y plus z is equal to uh, 20 and so that's our third equation and uh, then uh, we'll look at the uh, way the planes are arranged so I'll quickly zoom out so we can see the way the uh, planes are arranged in this scenario and uh, you can see uh, this is the way the planes uh, intersect and somewhere in the middle that's where the common intersection is hope this makes sense we'll be looking at another example in the uh, next video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video